Today I'm going to show you another website that you can use for free traffic. This is a website that allows you to upload PDF documents. And as you can see here, people have uploaded their documents, they have uploaded their affiliate documents. And as you can see, they're getting views. Not really much because these are recently uploaded documents. Okay, they're recently uploaded. But this is a website that allows you to keep these files, to keep these documents. So with time, your views will grow. Okay, you will get tons and tons of views as time goes by. And as you can see, if you come over here, to similar web and just look at the stats and look at the monthly visits the website gets over 15 million views so this is again a website that allows you to get free traffic and is a great way to promote your affiliate products and this is especially best for beginners so if you're just getting your feet wet you're getting into affiliate marketing you just want to test the waters and see how how everything works this is a great website but remember this is a website that allows you to upload pdfs only okay so it's a pdf website and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is, of course, select an affiliate network. You can use any affiliate network, by the way. It doesn't have to be ClickBank. This is actually ClickBank, but you can use Digisoft24. You can even use JVZoo, Warrior Plus, any affiliate network and any affiliate offer will do. Okay. So I'm going to use the health and fitness niche. This is the health and fitness niche. And the product that I wanted to promote was this one here, the Okinawa Flat Belly Tonic. Okay, this is a very popular product doing really well on ClickBank with a high gravity of 355. Okay, now the first thing that I normally like to look for is if the product has an affiliate page. That's the best thing to look out for because you might find products that do not have any affiliate page and that is what you need so that you can get the tools, the right tools to use to promote your product effectively. Okay, so this one does have an affiliate page. So I'm just going to click on this. All right, so this is the affiliate page now as you can see it has top converting email swipes it has hop link landing page options insta pixels so these are the tools that you need but the one that you really want is email swipe because we're going to use this to retarget our audience this is very very important okay so another thing that i like to look out for is the sales page let's have a look at the sales page all right so this is the sales page now it's actually a video so this is what your visitors will first see. They'll first see a video, although they have an option to read the text. Okay, so the page is still loading. It's actually slowing down my computer, but it actually loads the text version here. So the sales page is also good. Now, the thing that you want to do next is to write about this product. Okay, you want to write a short article about the Okinawa flat belly tonic. So it's going to be basically like a review about the product. And a place that you can get that is just from Google. So you can come over here to Google and just type here Okinawa flat belly review. So let me just copy this first so that I don't have to type it. Okay, control copy. Okay, come over here to Google and then I just paste it here. Okay, so I can add review. Okay. So here you'll find tons and tons of people who have written about the Okinawa flat belly a tonic review. Okay, there's even a video about it. So what you pretty much want to do here is to open one of these. Okay, we're going to open we're going to open one of these reviews. Um, so let me let me just open this one for example. All right, so this is the review page. Now this is the title. He does actually have a good, a really good title. Okinawa flat belly tonic review. Is it worth the money? Fake or legit? Okay, so these are the things that people uh, normally look out for. They want to know if something is fake, you know, if it's worth it. So you're going to pretty much just copy. Uh, we want to copy this review. Okay, so let's just copy this. Okay, and then we copy this. All right, so now that you've copied this, you want to rewrite this article because you're not going to copy exactly everything word for word. You want to rewrite it, give it a little bit of a, a twist and make it your own. Okay, now the way we're going to do that, we're going to use a rewriter, a rewriting article uh, website. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and you're going to paste your article on this website. Now, this is called quillboard.com. It's a rewriting website. It allows you to rewrite text, uh, documents, you know, stuff like that. So you're going to come over here, quillboard.com, and then you'll click on this paste, okay, paste text, all right? So then it's going to automatically paste what's on your clipboard, okay? So this is all what we have copied. Okay, so now what you want to do next is to click on paraphrase. You're going to click on this, 
All right, so it has actually rewritten the article, it has re-paraphrased it. So if you can come over here and look at the original, Okinawa okay, Flat Belly Tonic is a nutritional supplement powder that claims to encourage weight loss. And it says Okinawa okay, Flat Belly Tonic is a powdered nutritional supplement that purports to promote weight loss. So you see, it pretty much says the same thing, just in a different way, okay? Just, uh, uh, it has mixed up the text, it has added its own text. So it's a very clever way of uh, rewriting your article. Sometimes you don't even need to hire an, uh, a writer. You can just copy articles from Google and use this website to rewrite the articles. Okay, I don't really recommend doing it all the time for all your affiliate uh, products because sometimes it doesn't get some text right. Okay, especially if you don't go through your text, uh, you might uh, come around some uh, errors. It does make some errors, so you just have to be careful with this. All right, so now that we have rewritten our article, the next step is now to turn this into a PDF. We want to convert this into a PDF document because remember this website, the original website that I showed you at the beginning requires PDF documents. It only uses PDF documents. So we want to convert this into a PDF document. So you're going to copy all this first. You're going to click on copy full text and then you're going to come over to Google Docs, okay? You're going to go over to Google Docs. You'll just go to your browser and type docs.google.com, which will take you to this page, okay? So now here you're going to paste your text. You're going to click, right click and click on paste or control V. Okay, so this has just copied a very little text. I don't know where the rest has gone to. Uh, let me come over here. Okay, so I've just realized uh, Quillbot is now charging for maximum of 10 characters. So the free version is just 700. It used to be free. I think they've just started uh, charging for for more text. Now the document that I copied has about 14,596 words. So I've gone way beyond the limit. So that's why it stopped. It stopped actually up to here. Okay, this one here. So I didn't realize that they started charging that. But another website that you can get a uh, rewriter is just come over here to Google. There are actually many of them. And you just type here article rewriter. Okay, so that's article rewriter. Okay, so as you can see, we, are, we have Quillbot, and then we have this one here, article rewriter tool. We have small uh, smallseotools.com. Okay, so there are so many of them. But another one that I like, the, another one that I'm familiar with is this one here by DupliChecker. Okay, so if you just click on that, it'll take you to this page. This is DupliChecker.com. So now once you're here, you're going to click on paraphrasing tool. All right, and then you'll scroll down scroll down to here so where it says you paste is where you paste your article okay so what we copied is what we're going to paste here so right click and paste or control v okay so it says total words is 2306 out of 2000 so they're limiting you to 2000 which is much much more than the previous one so this is okay uh, i can just maybe reduce a little bit maybe i can delete that section all right, so that's much better. Now, the thing with this, you can still copy. You can still, uh, once you've duplicated this section, you can come over again and copy the rest of your article until it gets to the certain amount of uh, articles or a certain amount of uh, words that your article has. Okay, so you can just do this over and over until you copy the whole of your article. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to click on I'm not a robot and then click on rewrite article. All right, so once it's done, you can just come over and confirm your your output so here it was saying okinaw flat belly tonic is a nutritional supplement powder here it says okinaw flat belly tonic may be a biological process supplement powder okay so it's kind of uh, it's also the same thing just added its own text and sentences okay all right so once you're done with that you're going to click on next okay and then click on copy now the good thing about this website uh, duplichecker.com is that it allows you to check for plagiarism so this will allow you to check if this uh, article is going to be identified as a copy on the internet okay now this is important if you're going to use this article on a website okay a website that you're going to want google to index so in our case we won't really need to check for plagiarism here uh, but i was just informing you just in case you want to use this this website the duplicate checker on your article on your article that you're going to publish on your own website Okay, so we're just going to click on copy. Okay, click on OK. Now we're going to come back here again to our Google Docs. I'm going to highlight all this and I'm going to paste, paste over the new article. All right, so I think it has copied uh, all that, all that we 
duplicated. So now that we have our article here, we've written our article. This is only text. We want to make it look much better. Okay. We need to add a headline. Okay. And then we also need to add some images. So here we can just give it a headline and say something like this. All right, so I've pretty much just said Okinawa Review, don't buy Okinawa Flat Belly Tonic before reading this. Okay, so now this is going to give a sense of caution before reading this. Okay, so maybe I can just remove even this. I don't need to place. Okay, so I can just leave it like that. And then I'm going to bold, I'm going to bold this. Maybe even increase the font just a little bit. Okay, so now I want to place an image here. Okay, I want to place an image. Okay, right here. So I'm going to get an image from uh, Google. Now you can use either the before and after images. So the ones that I recommend, or you can just use the product itself. Okay, uh, I'm just going to use a before and after image. So I'm going to come over here to Google and just type over here before and after. Okay, so that's before and after weight loss. Okay, so now I can use any of these images. So I'm going to select this one here. Okay, and I'm just going to pretty much save this one here. Okay, I'm going to come back to our document. Okay, and I'm just going to drag this here. Uh, we now have our title. We now have our image. So now you can go ahead and place the product itself. You can go ahead and place the product. Uh, just look for a space where you can place it. Uh, maybe a paragraph like maybe over here add another paragraph there so I can place the product image itself here okay so I'm going to come back to our affiliate page or you can even find it on the sales page so I can copy this or save image okay click on save come back to our document and just drag it here all right so we have our image here let me see if I can expand it okay so it, it appears to be pixelated but what you can do you can I just go over to the sales page you'll find the original image or bigger images of this product so that doesn't appear pixelated but I think that's fine for now you can go ahead and add more images if you want but I think we are done for now so now what we want to do the next step is to place links we want to place links our affiliate links and the way you can do that you can add that on any of these uh, keywords okay so just look for a keyword maybe like the Okinawa itself um, let's just start at the beginning here. Okay, so this Okinawa itself is a keyword or this whole name here. We can use it as our link. Okay, so to be able to do that, we're going to click on, you're going to highlight this like this. And then you're going to click on this link, insert link. All right. And then here is where you're going to paste your affiliate link or your ClickBank hop link or whatever your affiliate network is. Okay, so we're going to paste the link here. So in our case, it's ClickBank. Right, so we're going to click on Promote. Okay, we want to collect our hop link. Because we generate hop links. Click on Copy. All right, so I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to come over here to our document. And then we're going to paste our affiliate link there. Or our hop link in this case. And then click on Apply. So now we have our affiliate link here. So when they land on this page, they're going to identify this as a link, which will direct them to the sales page. So you can do this again on multiple sections. Again, you have the keyword here, okay, now flat belly. You can do the same here. Just highlight that, click on this insert link, paste it here. Okay, like that, click on apply. So again, do it on multiple sections of your article. Now, the best way to do this, the best way to do this effectively is to use a landing page because this is just a basic way. This is actually a beginner way to do it, not really a professional or a super affiliate way to do it. So the best way to do it is to collect leads and to be able to collect leads, you need to collect email addresses. So we have to collect email addresses so that we can retarget our viewers or our audience with the same product because not everyone's going to buy this for the first time this method is used for people who are likely to buy this for the first time which is very very few it's like one percent of people okay it's normally used by beginners so you want to place your landing page links here instead you want to replace this with the landing page links so to be able to do that we're going to create a landing page and one place you can do that is 
get response okay so get response is a website that allows you to create learning pages you can create newsletters forms autoresponders even workflows which you can use to retarget your audience automatically that's the good thing about the workflows you don't have to uh, send the emails yourself it automatically does that for you I actually have a link in the description uh, it's a recommended video which shows you how to create workflows okay that is if you're going to use get response you cannot you don't have to use get response you can use any other learning page but if you intend to use get response i recommend you watch that video so once you're here i'm going to click on create learning page and then you're going to build from scratch so i'm going to click on show templates and then you want to select plain template 10 you're going to enter the learning page uh, the name of your learning page so i'll just call this okinawa next step so this is your blank template now what i'm going to do i'm going to check if the product that i'm promoting has a logo okay you don't have to do this but it usually brings some kind of uh, it shows some kind of credibility on the landing page okay so i'm just going to go to the uh, sales page now this is actually the affiliate page let me go to the sales page all right so this is the sales page now it usually has a logo at the top left here and this one doesn't seem to have a logo which is okay okay which is okay so we can just go back to our landing page and you can delete this so now what we want to place here is an image this allows us to place an image so again you can have a before and after image or the product itself okay so i'm going to click on this i'm going to click on this button again i'm going to click on add files okay i'm going to select from computer i'm going to use the same image that i used okay i'm going to select it i'm going to click on add and i'm going to click on use all right so i'm just going to quickly edit this page i'm sure most of you already know how to use get response by watching my videos so i'm just going to speed up this section Alright guys, so I am pretty much done with my landing page. A very simple one. You just want to keep it as short as this, as simple as this. And I got everything from the sales page. So I also changed this to enter your name and email. And then we have the text, uh, the text box for entering the name, for entering the email. And then we have this button. Now I replaced this button with the default button. I just pretty much uh, made it shorter to 0%. Okay, by just using this, I just made it. I just shrank it to 0% and then I replaced it with the one on this one here, uh, the one on this toolbox because the original doesn't have a link where we can place our link. Okay, so I'm going to change this. I'm going to change the text here. I'll have it say, okay, and then you can also change the color if you want by clicking on this, but I'll just leave it uh, at green and then uh, I'm going to now place a link. I'm going to place a link here by clicking on this. And here's where we're going to paste our affiliate link, okay, or our hop link in this case. So I'm going to come back here to ClickBank. I'm going to click on Promote. I'm going to click on this, okay. I'm going to close that. I'm going to come back to our landing page, and I'm going to paste our affiliate link there. Now this is not our affiliate link. I'll have to do it again. Let me delete this. I'm going to come back here, click on Promote. All right, click on Copy. Okay, so now it's copied come back here and then we paste yes yeah, so now we have our hop link there all right and then just going to leave everything else as is i like having this on the same window click on ok and now we're going to look at the mobile the mobile view this is actually the desktop view let's have a look at the mobile view by clicking on this click on ok let's go mobile all right so it's pretty much the same it's just that it's in a mobile view there's nothing much that we need to change here we just drag this up a little bit okay and your name and email uh, let me just edit this just a little bit okay maybe increase the font just a little bit all right so i think everything else is okay we don't need to change much here all right so i'm going to come back here all right so now we want to save this we're going to click on hover we're going to hover on this save and click on save and exit Okay, click on proceed without mobile version because this is for the thank you page. I don't really use thank you pages. Uh, you don't have to use a thank you page, but if you wish to do, you can continue. But in my case, I'll just click on proceed without mobile version. 
So now we have our learning page, okay? This is our learning page, this is the page itself, and this is the link to our learning page. So we're going to click on publish. Okay, so now we have our learning page published, it's now, it's now live. So now what we're going to do, we're going to copy this link, we're going to right click, click on copy link address, and then we're going to come back to our document here, okay, our Google Docs, and then we're going to pretty much just change these links, we're going to highlight them, we're going to edit link, okay, and then we're going to paste our learning page link here. So we're going to right click and click on paste, and then click on apply. Okay, we're going to do the same for all of the links that we added on our document. Click on paste and then click on apply. Right. So now when they land on this page, they're going to see this as links. They're going to click on these links, which will direct them to our landing page. Okay. From there, they're going to enter their name and email addresses. Then we're going to be able to send them this product. Not only this product, we can even target them different weight loss products okay because they're interested in the weight loss niche so it doesn't have to be okay now it can be another weight loss product all right so you're going to do that to all uh, the whole of your article you're going to add those links on your article another way that you can add your link is by adding uh, a different line so maybe just let me just look for another place somewhere like this so you would say something like this. Okay, so I've just added this click here to get a one-time limited offer on Akinawa. Now this really works well. This is very effective because it creates a sense of urgency. Okay, because when visitors read this, they'll know that this is a limited offer and they might get a really good deal when they click on this uh, link. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this. Okay, I'm going to insert link. All right, I'm going to paste my landing page link there. Click on apply. Okay, now you can even make it stand out a little bit. You can make it bold. Okay, you can italicize it. You can uh, underline. It's actually already underlined. So you can just make it stand out this way. You can even increase the font. All right, so I think now we're done. Uh, we're done with our PDF. We're completely done with our PDF. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. All right, so and then I also align it to the center. Okay, give it a little bit of space down there. All right. Okay, so now we are done with our document. We have added our article. We've actually rewritten this article from uh, Google. We have added our title here. We've placed our image. We have placed our links. So now we want to save this as a PDF. We're going to come over here, click on File. Okay, Download. And then download it as PDF document. Okay, so as you can see, we have downloaded it as our PDF document. So now the next step is to promote this document. Okay, this is now a document. It has our landing page links, which has our affiliate links. We want to promote this document. And the place that we're going to promote this is this first website that I showed you earlier. Okay, now the website is called academia.edu. Or you can just type the whole link which is independent.academia.edu now you'll need to sign up which will take you to this page once you just type uh, academia.edu it will take you to this page okay now they have a free account and they have a premium now free is all you need you don't really need to use a premium so you're just going to use the free version okay so once you've signed up it's pretty easy to sign up once you've signed up it's going to take you to the main page actually a dashboard so here's where you can upload your pdf okay so once you're here, going to click on upload. So here's where you now you can upload your files. As you can see, it says drag and drop multiple files, or you can choose files. So I already have mine here. I'm just going to drag it here. Okay, so we have our document right there. And then I'm going to click on continue. So once that's done, you're going to click on publish to work. So then it's going to take you to this page here. Now this page is going to let you enter, it's going to let you enter the uh, contents of your document. So you'll have to enter the paper title, you'll have to enter the abstract. Abstract is pretty much the description or the document. You have the publication's name the year. So you're just going to pretty much fill all this. And once you're done, you're going to click on save and finish. That way it's now going to upload to this website and then you're going to be able to get views. Now you're not going to get views in a short amount of time. Remember, it's going to take a while before you start generating any views on this website. So it's not an instant way of making, uh, it's not a way of making instant money. It's just another way that you can promote your free affiliate you know, offers and products using free traffic.
okay now with this website you can promote all kinds of offers and it's not only weight loss you can also promote things like uh you know the make money online niche and that is the wealth niche you can promote even the dating niche and that is the uh, relationships niche you can promote all kinds of uh, categories here or all kinds of niches here and this is a website that you can use and with time you're going to be able to get tons and tons of views like for example this is richard m ryan he has over 65,000 views okay just on this document alone so do give it a try guys especially if you're a beginner uh, this is a website that you can use as free traffic for your affiliate offers all right guys so that's it for this video i hope it gave you value hope you found it informative and if it did smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i will see you on the next one